What's up? Welcome back to another recap video. TLC. Yeah. And this actually was a pretty good pay-per-view. Hmm, after, well, only a couple of matches weren't really that. So, all they were hyped some, up to be. Some matches were awesome. So, of course, one of the, there was two kickoff matches. One of them was Cedric Alexander versus Buddy Murphy for the Cruiserweight Championship. Two bucks, boyfriend. And that match was good. Cedric put um, a lot of moves in there. Um, but Buddy Murphy, of course, came on top with a stupid little move yeah. and won. So, we'll see that on 205 Live. Oh, yeah. And then, of course, the next uh, kickoff match was Elias versus Bobby Lashley or Booby Lashley <laughs> with Leo Rush. Or Shrimpy. Or butt tupping, uh, touching Sm Lashley. Smacking his butt. It was a ladder match with the guitar over, and whoever receives the guitar wins. And of course, Lies won it. Um, he was about to hit Booby Lashley with it, but nope, Leo Rush came involved. He attacked Leo Rush, um, making Booby Lashley kick, pick up the ladder and hit. Lies in the back with the guitar. So that was that one. What? And then, of course, the actually first match of TLC was... Our truth What's <laughs> Up with Camilla versus Magic Carpet Ride, Jinder Mahal, and Alicia Fox and the Singh Brothers. Yeah. And this is the mic the finale to the Mix Max Challenge. Mm -hmm. and the, the winner is a 30 spot for the Rumble and the purification yeah. wherever they want. And of course, you know there's got to be a dance break in oh, this. Oh, yeah. And of course, the Sing Brothers had to join in. Yep. And um, the, the one Sing Brother was dancing with Truth and he threw him out. Mm -hmm. Threw the other one over the rope. And of course, Archie to Carmel actually won. Carmel making Foxy tap. Yeah. So, that was fun. That was fun. So Truth and Carmella get number 30 in the Royal Rumbles. Yep. yep. And a paid vacation. And our truth is <laughs> picked at WWE headquarters in Connecticut. Oh, and yeah. Carmella's like, uh... She thought she was going somewhere exotic. Like Paris. The Car Caribbeans. Yeah. Alley? Or Disneyland. Usually that's usually how it's supposed to be. Disneyland. But, yeah. But I think someone screwed up. Because this match should have been in the uh, the pre-show, and the last match should have been in the re the real one. But, hey, everyone thought Eli that Elias and Bobby Lashley could is boring. So, anyway, the next match was for the SmackDown Tag Team Titles. New Day. Flappy Jacks. First, The Bar. Hey. Oh, the Bar. Oh, the entire sauce. And the... Usos. Usos, and of course we all want the Usos to win. But, but the yeah. Usos were barely in the match. They were. They barely were. It was more New Day in the bar. Yeah, it should have been a triple match. Like they should have actually been in it. They should have been all three, and they probably the Usos probably would have won. No, it should have been. What was it usually? Like a triple threat tag team. One member of each of the uh, of the tag teams should have been in the match, and then they tag in their partner in instead of like. What we saw right now, because the bar are still champions. Yep. Bro kicking uh, uh, Xavier uh, Woods. Mr. Up, Up, Down, Down, and his weird hair. He looks funny because the one was all flat, one was poof. Yeah, they're going to be eating pancakes tonight. Yeah. So, anyway, that was that match. Next is. The Baron Corbin versus Braun Strowman uh, no disqualification match. Yeah. Yep. And we already thought, and Corbin thought he was going to win the uh, count out. But Strowman showed up. But the special the special referee is Heath Slater. Strowman shows up and says, even though I have one arm, that doesn't mean that I could, I'll fight this alone because it's no disqualifications. And since... 
he, Baron Corbin pissed off Apollo Crews, Chad and Brood, Finn Balor, and Heath Slater. Everybody started attacking, uh, attacking him with chairs. But the person who landed the first punch was Heath Slater, and that was a good one. Then, we hear Kurt Angle's music come out, and everybody's saying, Corbin sucks. But yeah. I think maybe that's usually, I think that's what Kurt Angle's real theme is, since he's a, he, uh, since he's a good guy. The other guy sucks. And he beats him with a chair. And then everybody gets their chan chances with their special moves to give it to Corbin. And then Braun Strowman wins, pinning him. I'm pretty sure after Braun's arm heals, oh. he'll definitely give oh, Baron we... Corbin and get these hands. Oh, we know tomorrow Vince McMahon's firing, uh, firing Corbin. Yep. And Kurt Angle's going to be the ch the general manager again. At least Raw's going to be a bit better. But yeah, that was really funny. Yep. And the next match is Natalia versus Ruby Riot. In a tables match. Oh, yeah. Oh, both of them end up getting themed tables. Yep, Ruby with her Jim Nineheart table, and Natty... With her Ruby, Ruby Riot table. Yeah. Yep. But she pulled, waited, that, waited to pull that table out till she got rid of the uh, Ruby's henchwomen. Yep. The yeah. first Riot Squad member to get the table was Liv Morgan. Yep. She bit the bullet. She took a bullet for Ruby. And the next one was Sam Logan. The supposed Viking. And um. After they got hit through tables, they didn't even, we didn't see them through the rest of the match. No. And um. Let's see. The the match was getting super good. And before towards the end, Natalia ends up pulling out her daddy's jacket. Yep. That and gave then, her strength and gave her the strength to actually put R Ruby right through the table. Yep, she held her like this and... Power slammed her. Right through her cell. Yep, Natty won. That was a good match too. And then, of course, next match was... Drew McIntyre versus Finn Bala. A, Scot versus, uh, a Scotsman versus an Irishman. Of course, Finn Balor won and... With help. From Dolph Ziggler. Ziggler came during that match. Dolph Ziggler super kicked McIntyre. Yep, and he was about to hit Drew with a chair. Drew countered, hit, hit and Dolph rolled off in the ring. Dolph countered, did a thing on Drew, making Finn do his special move on the top rope and win. Yep. And then Finn had a little backstage thing, and Dolph saying thank you very much. Finn's like, don't interfere in my matches, blah, blah, blah. And Dolph rep uh, responds with punching Finn in the face and throwing him over a, bo a box. Yeah. So we're so the, ma the match is official for Monday, Dolph versus Finn. Yep. yep. That's definitely going to happen. Yeah, you know it. Now, the next match is a chairs match, and it's Rey Mysterio versus Randy Orton. Six one nine. Viper. Who hears voices in his head? Yeah. And those voices didn't uh, didn't save him from getting chair shots to the face. So he was Ray sitting, won it. Yeah. He was sitting in the chair that part of the match. He was sitting in the one chair, and then Ray went to go jump, and he ended up getting the chair up his butt, though. Yeah. Then Ray did a a sled race. Through the rope, through the bottom rope with the chair. That's pretty Woo cool. Wee! But then he got hurt in the process. But yeah, that's gotta hurt. Or his little torso. Still fun. He got an ouchie. Yeah. Still, still fun. Pretty much, he was a lucha house. She, he's, he is the the unofficial fourth member of lucha house party. You know it. Yeah. You know it. There's four members of lucha house party. Ray's one of them. Yep. Yeah. Alright, um, next one to see is, is Ronda Rousey versus Nia Jax. T um, Tamina was there too. Yeah, for the Raw Woman's title. And Tamina needs to change her outfit and her hair because she looks like a Klingon. 
I mean it. All she needs is just the makeup to make it have all the ridges on her forehead. And there you go. Rhonda kept teasing Tanina. Yeah, oh, of yeah. course. Um, but of all that, Naya had some moves on Rhonda. Naya should have easily won, but you know, she got two. Sorry about that. The app screw the recording screwed up because of an ad. <laughs> now what we were saying, Nia Jax was a Ronda Rousey. <laughs> yeah. Okay, long long and short. Tamina, you look like a Klingon. Nia Jax, you got overconfident with your fist. Ronda Rousey, you you still don't deserve the title, but friggin' arm barred the the fist that broke uh, Becky's face. There you go. Match is over. Matt just tapped out like a bitch. Yep, and then backstage, um... Becky back punched her in the face. Yeah, just keep her name out of her mouth. Out of her mouth. She yeah. punched Nia Jax in the face. Yeah. That's who she got punched. Yeah. But we'll see. That's gonna come out. That This is foreshadowing what will happen in the main event. Yep, and um, the next match was AJ Styles versus the new Daniel Bryan. <laughs> For the W World title. And this match was phenomenal. Phenomenal. Yeah. yeah. A lot of finale to forearms, uh, calf crusher. No kicks. The, the, that, um, the, the it wasn't the bell lock. Yeah. The bell lock. Well, it's the bell lock, but we know it's the yes lock, but they have to rename it because that's not who he is anymore. And here's the thing. Throughout the whole entire match, Daniel Bryan did not cheat. Nope. At all. Nope. He, he won fair and square. Yep. So. He countered um, AJ Styles' pin and turned it against him. And then he won the title there. Yep. Then, ooh, the most, bo the one boring match of the entire night. And don't say it wasn't just me that's called, I called it, it was going to be boring. Well, I was hoping it would be electrifying, but... How can you follow up that match? Dean Ambrose versus Seth Rollins. And it should have been the most hypest match, but, you know, even if it's a title match. Yeah, it was the Intercontinental as a title. But here's the thing. It was just... It, the, describe it is just two shirtless guys that Ashley couldn't keep her eyes <laughs> off. Of just. Course. Punching each other and just doing suplexes. This was not really an entertaining match, unless your ladies are a fan that got the hots for Dean and Seth. Oh, that's right. Dean Ambrose won. Well, Dean, he uh, he was t taunting Seth with his maneuver when he does the burning down. Yep, and then he also did with the fist. Yep. And that's what cost Seth Rollins the match. Just like Dean said, Seth is too emotionally unstable. He's not thinking things through. He got angry and Dean countered it with the, with his dirty deeds. Yep. Yeah. So Dean won. Yeah. And it doesn't matter if the match is boring for Ashley. She gets two of her favorite guys and she's drooling over Dean winning. So there you go. It's about time Dean got some recognition. Now let's go for the mo the, the best match is Asuka versus Charlotte versus Becky Lynch. For the SmackDown Woman title. And the first ever TL women's TLC match. That match was really, really awesome. good. Yeah, awesome. Let's see. Everybody wants revenge. Asuka actually wants revenge on Charlotte for beating her with the kendo stick. Becky Lynch wants to be champion. Yep. Um... And she wants revenge for getting hit with a kendo stick. Everybody wants revenge for being hit with a kendo stick. It's pretty much was a no, cat fight. fight. Yeah, it was pretty much a uh, no of tables and except for the one table that only got chipped at the one part. Yeah, it was, yeah, yeah. Becky threw Charlotte at the table and just only cracked it, just the tiny bit in the middle. And then there was chairs and ladders and kendo sticks. And oh, the, the 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 one. Part that's gonna end up being memed to death. Yeah, uh, Charlotte speared Oscar to the barricade, and her boob. No, Charlotte 
kept uh, kept smothering Asuka in her chest. Yeah, her face is on Charlotte's boob. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and it's there for like good ten seconds so, before yeah. she finally gets up. And then here we go. We got two ladders set up. Asuka's in the uh, in the one ladder at the bottom, all tuck, tired out. Charlotte and Becky are on the next ladder next to her, colliding up, fighting. And guess who comes out? Ronda Rousey. Yeah. And she pushes the ladder, holding Becky Lynch and Charlotte, two of her mortal enemies. Yep, and then she just walks out. Yeah. That's it. She pushes them. And they fall to the corners of the ring. And Asuka, she's climbing the ladder. She's climbing the ladder. She unhooks the title. And boom, she's now the new SmackDown Women's Champion. Which yeah. I was right. I, when I first, first, when I first started, I was like, Asuka's winning. All hail the Empress of Tomorrow. Yeah. Yep. And we just see Charlotte and Becky are all mad. So, yep, they're just staring like... And we already know who who, who Ronda Rousey's already fighting at the Royal Rumble. Yeah, you know it's gonna be Charlotte versus Ronda. Yeah. You know what it should have been? It should be Ronda versus Becky versus versus Charlotte. Yeah. Cause think about it. Sh Becky owes Ronda a match. Charlotte owes Ronda a rematch. Sorry. And Ronda Rousey wants to beat both them up. Yeah, I mean, this TLC was awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Except a few parts were not so good, but it's definitely awesome to see Braun. Yeah, and Dean. Again. Yeah, and Dean, Seth. Well, Braun probably won't be able to wrestle, but he'll be uh, resting and probably, hopefully, hopefully I, he'll be ready I for hope a, 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 a he beats Brock Lesnar. I don't I can't stand. glad Baron Corbin see, got a taste of Bro his own medicine. Brock Lesnar not at TLC? Nakamura not at TLC? Nope. What the hell? Nope. And what about all the other wrestlers but, that aren't but, here? But, there's another titles. The SmackDown titles weren't even on the line. No, SmackDown. Raw tag titles. Dragon Ball and Rube. Why didn't they put their titles on the line? No well, idea. they just won it. But then again, well... Wait. Wasn't... No, it wasn't a rematch. Monday wasn't a rematch for the titles, but it could have been a rematch. But then again, if Chad and Gable did go up and attack uh, a tag team title match, then we wouldn't have. They wouldn't be there to help Braun Strowman. Finn Balor was there to help Braun Strowman. He was still in the match. I don't know. That kind of feels like they. I don't know. You explain that to me. Chat, Pete, someone that's watching this video, explain that in the chat, uh, right there in the comments. I'm just glad that Braun got his, uh, I mean, um, Baron Corbin got his taste of medicine from Braun and all that. Yeah. It's about time somebody well, What do you down. think happens? It happened to the authority, so it finally happened to him. So, what did you feel, TLC? Did you like it? What was your favorite match? Um, you know what's really funny? Were you happy with the matches? Pete? Looking forward to uh, Monday Night Raw. Definitely gonna be interesting at Monday Night Raw with Vince McMahon. Oh, well, here's the thing: during the preview or the during the little um, thing segments for TLC during the little mini um, uh, the mini breaks, Lars Sullivan it said that he was supposed to show up at TLC, and he didn't. No, he did. He did not show up, even though it did. I did. You weren't in the room. You were out, like in the bathroom, and it said it right there. Lars Sullivan said he was going to shake things up at TLC, and he did not show himself. Hmm. Anyway, so how did you feel? Did um, you enjoy it? I mean, like I said, I thought it was good. Yeah, it was mm -hmm. good. It was awesome. It was fun. Of course, I like seeing naked teens. Oh, yeah. Half naked. Yeah, half naked. Shirtless. I like... Even though you naked. have a boyfriend. Me. I like uh, how... But Baron then again... Corbin got his uh, medicine. Yeah. 
So let us know. We want to hear. Um. Yeah. Uh, well, here's the thing. Now we gotta wait till January for the next pay per view. Yeah, and the January, which is I hope Brown beats Brock Lesnar. Hopefully, we can knock a more as a match. Yeah. Where's Command? Or Samoa Joey Flubby Wubby. Yeah, he'll probably be in the Rumble. But anyway, yeah, so make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye bye. -bye.